make, I like to just use what I pick up on the beach. And you can get really, really creative just walking around picking up shells. You might see, um, oh, I don't know, a little crossbarred Venus, and you kind of think about it as you're walking along, and you think, oh, I could do something with that. Yeah, let me get a couple more of those. And then you come back and you can make a little flower out of it. Um, you know, it's there's no rules on how you do this stuff. And I think the creativity and the ingenuity is what makes it fun. This is what a dandelion looks like before it's painted yellow. And they're different lengths. The, the standard sea urchin spines are usually sort of tan and the best ones are the ones that are long and slender. Semele, okay. S-E-M-E-L-E. -E. And it's on a spiral with a wire. And I use hot glue for this stuff a little bit. And I like tweezers like this. So what I do is kind of grab one near the tip, near the outer end, and hit it, just dip it just a little bit in the hot glue, and boink. And then you take your second one, and you're just going to put them so that they're adjacent to each other, they're touching. And you keep going like this. And again, with a dandelion, in nature, not all the, the little spines are exactly the same length. So I don't really worry about it with sea urchin spines either. You just keep going like that. And after about five or six, I pull all the strings off because you're gonna get that. And it probably took me about an hour to make one of these. I always just pour some dilute Elmer's glue down on that to reinforce the hot glue. You can't get down in there with a brush, so I just water the glue down a little bit and just pour it in. Yeah, these are <laughs> these may end up being clovers, purple clovers, with those little green shamrock okay. stems. Yeah. And what, what is the base on that one, since it's not a flat it's shell? It's a bead. It's like a pearl or a plastic bead. Okay. And you stick the, the wire down in there and glue it. And I use hot glue for it. Okay. And it's the same principle. You start just like this, and you're just going to cover the entire bead.